Hello everybody, I'm going to show you how you can set up the extension for co-teachers. Now I received quite a few emails about co-teachers. Can they also flow between rooms? And the answer is yes, they can. Now what they really need to do is they need to replicate exactly what you have on your extension right here. So in other words, the co-teachers will need to have exactly this set up so that they could float and slide in and out of the classes. So let me just take you, give you a full example here. I'm gonna go through the extension. I'm gonna create a, a new course. It's gonna be Web Magic. I'll click Save. Now this will be a Google Classroom example. So I'll go over here, oops. So I'll go over here, make this a little bigger. And I'll go to my Google Classroom. Here we go. And I'll just highlight this whole thing. Copy it. I'll go to my Rooms tab. There's Web Magic. I'll paste that in. I'll click Save. All right, great. Now, at this point, I need to create three breakouts. So I'll just do one, two, three. Uh, one, two, three. And I'll just do the easy example. I'll just click Save. Now I'm gonna go with statics on this. I could use nicknames if I wanted to. All right, now one word about co-teachers because the lookup was uh, used here. The co-teacher will need, need to be able to open this up. In other words, your co-teacher will need to have a, an email which is within your organization, all right? So we're, you're, you're really in great shape. Now here's the step. This is the key step right here. In your rooms tab, in your rooms tab, you'll click on the far right hand button, the black button, which is the export import. So you as the teacher need to export this data and, and send it to the co-teacher and the co-teacher will import it. All right. So we'll do this right now. Uh, we'll export it. I'm going to say web magic. Co teacher. All right, and then I'll hit export. So it's web magic co-teacher. Now, I'll sh the file itself is really small and it's downloaded to your hard drive on your computer. Now, just use whatever method's convenient for you and your co-teacher will need to go to the courses tab and create web magic just like we did right here. The co-teacher will need to do that. And just like we did here, remember when we first created web magic, it was blank. There's nothing here. So it was, it, was, it was all like this. That's what it was when we first entered. Now the co-teacher has that file and the co-teacher will click on this far right hand button in the rooms tab, in the rooms tab. Click on the far right hand button and the co-teacher will import it. Well, let me just show you that this is actually working. So. So I'm gonna put something dummy in here. All right, so we're gonna show that it really does import and we'll click on this and away we go. And we say import it. So you choose a file and you have to click import and voila, everything's in there. So your co-teacher will have this exact same layout, same thing as you. All right, now the way it works is you will, you as the teacher will then open up everything. All right, so you open up the main room, you open up the um, breakouts and so on, and you will be able to slide, you will be able to slide between all the different rooms. Now your co-teacher has the exact same setup on their extension, right, for this class, for this class Web Magic. So your co-teacher could do the same thing. Your co-teacher will say, open up everything, right? Now when the co-teacher does that, uh, you, you will, you depending on your permissions and so on, you may have to allow the teacher in, but if your co-teacher is all within the same organization, I'm pretty sure the co-teacher will just automatically enter uh, all the different rooms. So you're, just like you are in all the different rooms, your co-teacher will be in all the different rooms. All right? So that's the main thing I want to cover here, how co-teachers uh, can work with the extension. All you do is within the Rooms tab, you click the black button to export it, 
send that file to your co-teacher. It's a really small file. It's very, very small. And then the co-teacher will import it and you'll, you will, they'll be able to do everything you can, everything you do uh, following you. you. You're the owner of the room, uh, but you'll, you'll need to open the room first and the co-teacher can do the same thing that you can in terms of sliding in and out. The co-teacher could also broadcast and do all these other things. So I think that will work out really well for a lot of people. Okay, so I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, I just want to give you a, a couple comments just to everybody. I, I found some issues um, working with teachers. Uh, the main thing is if you, if you have a nickname, just enter the nickname itself. You don't need to have any kind of prefix. The one-off situation is for copying the meet link here uh, for Google Classroom. But if you want this to be a, a nickname, you can. You can just call this Web1. Uh, please don't put like meet.google.com slash or, or g-co slash me. Don't do that. Just put in your nickname itself. All right. So you can just say web one. And this is web two and web three. And then you would click save. All right. I'm not going to do that because I want to keep this. All right. That's about it. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.